I gave the kids two Starburst because when they learn something new and like cool that they like about the sea otter, they can just eat one while the presentation. Okay, so next. today I'm here to tell you about the sea otter. Let's take a trip to where the lake is. Okay. The sea otter lives many places in the world, but it only lives in one ocean. So let's take a trip to name that ocean. I'll get your host even started. to name that ocean. And now I'll explain the rules. You have 10 seconds to choose one of next. You have 10 seconds to choose one of these three oceans, which is A, Atlantic Ocean, B, Indian Ocean, or C, Pacific Ocean. I need a volunteer in the crowd, anyone? You young lady in the in the purple sweatshirt, come on up. Next, the time starts now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, the Pacific Ocean. Oh, two, one. Let's check your answer. Next. I hope she's right. Correct. Oh. C. Pacific Ocean. Next, Wait, can I you guys is seeing the rest of Eden's wonderful pressing about the amazing sea otter. Oh, good. Thumbs up. Now I'll get Eden Marring so she can teach you more about the amazing sea otter. Thanks, Miss Darling. Thanks. Now that you know where they live, let me tell you some more about it. Next. Okay, so. This is a picture of where they mostly live around the Pacific Rim. So yeah, next. Sea otters mostly like to live in shallow waters um, around the Pacific Rim and places with kelp. Maybe some of you are wondering why kelp. This video will tell you and plus the, it has more information. A raft of sea otters have rolled themselves in the kelp's fronds, anchoring themselves in place so they don't drift out to sea while they sleep. This may be the smallest sea mammal, but with a voracious appetite and a partiality for urchin meat, it's crucially important to the kelp forest. With an adult typically eating up to 30% of its body weight a day, That could be 50 of the spiny invaders. The otter is Monterey Bay's secret weapon of mass urchin destruction. Although the urchins are typically found on the sea floor, otters make light work of finding them. Holding their breath for five minutes, they'll dive up to 18 meters Rising urchins off the rocky seabed. Sea otters aren't just effective hunters, they're also brilliant tool users. Cracking open their prey shell by banging it against a flat stone on their stomach. A clever way of getting past those sharp spines. Not many animals use tools to munch it on its protein rich innards. Mothers pass on hunting techniques to their pups, although they can take a while to perfect. So many species rely on the kelp, and therefore the otter's appetite, which keeps the urchins in check. So what he's trying to say is that if there wasn't any sea otters, sea urchins would prevent kelp forests, and the kelp forests are home to many um, small, like, other sea um, animals. Mm -hmm. So, if you, luckily, there is sea otters, so, um, so they eat the sea urchins so they don't prevent kelp forests. Yeah. Do, the, do the sea urchins, do they feed on the kelp? Um, yeah, I'm I, pretty sure. 
We'll have to look into that. I, 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 I wonder if they eat the base of the kelp down by the roots and whatnot, which would kill the whole kelp forest. And there are a ton of species that rely on kelp forest. So we'll have to look into that later. But yeah, so very cool connection on how important your animal is. So next is um, appearance, and this is a picture of their body. They have large, large black, black feet, long tail. They lay on their backs while floating in the water. They have long body covered with dark and shiny fur, sensitive whiskers, small eyes, and ears. Next. Sea otters may be cute and beautiful, but sea otters aren't only known for their looks. They're known for, they're known for their special fur. So let's go back to the video and learn about their special fur. Back. Back. But the question remains, why do the otters need to eat quite so much? Unlike their neighbors, the harbor seals and sea lions, otters don't have a thick blubber layer, which is the usual defense against cold water. This means that their body heat is constantly being lost to the water around them. Otters combat this in two ways. Firstly, with their fur, the densest fur of any animal on the planet. Up to a million hairs in an area the size of a postage stamp. Trapping air, keeping the cool water at bay and providing insulation. Their loosely jointed skeleton means they're flexible enough to fluff air back even into those tough to reach places. In fact, this system works so well that with careful grooming, cold water never reaches the skin at all. So what he's trying to say is, again, that sea otters don't have blubber like other sea animals. They have a special fur that also keeps them. But if they didn't have those that special fur or blubber, they can get really cold and get sicknesses and die. So, next. So, history. Back in the 1700s and 1800s, there were several hundred thousand to a million sea otters in the world. Apparently, fur traders came along and thought their fur was fabulous and started hunting and trapping them down. Well, by the 1800s, sea otters um, were nearly extinct. This was getting out of hand, so the Congress did something about it. And from that, ever since, it's been illegal to hunt sea otters for their fur. And the fast fact is, today there are over 106,000 sea otters. some of the habits of the sea otter. Okay, so predator prey. The predator of the sea otter, um, the predators of the, of the sea otter, in California, it's a great white shark. In Alaska, it's a killer whale. In other places around the Pacific Rim is stellar sea lion, coyotes, bears, and eagles. And their prey. They mainly eat clams, mussels, urchins, crabs, and small fish. And a fun fact is, did you know that sea otters sometimes have to dive 330 feet to catch their prey? Next. The lifespan. The lifespan of a male sea otter in the wild is 10 to 15 years. The lifespan of a female in the wild is 15 to 20 years. So the female usually lives longer than the male.
century where sea otters nearly extinct. Um, Dylan? Um, Bree? A. And Mr. Slip? A. Next. 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 A. A. Next. Okay, so thanks for watching my quiz and I hope you enjoyed